Alright, so the first thing to do is to download your MetaHuman. You want to pick one that doesn't have sleeves on. Because the ones that don't have sleeves don't actually have arms. They just have hands. And if you're confused on how to import MetaHuman into Unreal, the start of the video I have in the description below will tell you how to do that. So right here, I've just imported Omar right here. So we need to find what skeleton our MetaHuman is using. So you just go to male, medium, normal weight, body. And this is the skeletal mesh right here. Open it up. Once it finally loads, you can click over here to the skeleton right here. And it will open up the skeleton asset. Most likely it's the just the MetaHuman base skeleton. But just to be sure, you just want to check it right here. Because it will be important later. Alright, and if we head back over here to the body itself, as you can see, these are the arms we want, but it comes with a waistline, a piece of the waistline and the ankles right here, and we just simply want to delete these. So for this, you would need Blender, and we're going to export this to Blender. So let me just minimize, or actually, I should probably just close out of all this. And then right here, you want to just right-click on the body go to asset actions and then go to export save in mind but i saved it on my desktop now on this export screen that pops up there's a few options here mainly you just want to turn on or off level of detail if you turn it off then the level of details that the mesh or the body comes with won't be exported but whether you turn this setting on and off really really depends on your project but for me, I'm going to turn it off just because I don't want to deal with it. And it will just export as LOD0. So yeah, then I'm just going to hit export right here. Alright, so once you have it all exported as an FBX, inside Blender, you just create you a new scene right here. And you just delete all this. We don't need none of this. And then you come over here to File, Import, and you're going to select the file where we exported. Oh, make sure you select FBX so you can actually find it. Because that's what we exported as. Alright, so once you select the body FBX that we exported, you then want to come over here to the settings. And right off the bat, you can turn off animations because we don't want to import any animations. This FBX shouldn't even have animations in it anyways. And then on the manual orientation, you want to check this. And the forward is going to be Y forward. And the up can stay as Z up. And then down here in armature, you open this up, and the primary bone is going to be the x-axis up there, and secondary bone is going to be the z-axis, I believe. This is just setting it up so then when we export it again, it'll be able to match what Unreal Engine already has set up, basically. But I'm just going to hit import, and so basically we want... So basically with this, we like I said before, we just want to get rid of the waistline and the ankles. So to do that, the simplest way would be to just select the mesh, not the skeleton. And then press tab to go to edit mode. And then unhighlight everything like that. Then just drag to highlight the waist. And delete that. All vertices. And then drag to highlight those. Delete all vertices and it appears I missed a few of them so just make sure you get all of these delete vertices and see here's one that's a sneaky one right there you want to make sure you get all of these it's very important and then down here on the ankles get all of these as well delete vertices there's a few right there delete vertices and I believe that should be good. But yeah, just double check and make sure you've deleted all the vertices that are left over. Alright, so now once again press tab to go back to object mode. And press A to select everything. And we are going to export this back out. So go to file, export, FBX. And then once again in here, I'm going to import this back to that folder I created on my desktop. Alright, and now the export settings. You can limit it to selected objects. It doesn't really matter because we only have one thing. But you just want to be on the safe side. You can do selected objects. And then deselect the top three. Or rather, just select the bottom three. And I, I shift-clicked to select them. 
and then the forward down here we gotta set this back to y forward and then z up and hit apply transform right there and then inside the armature we gotta make sure we set these to x axis and believe it was z and then once again we don't need animation and i guess you could uncheck add leaf bones as well i'm not quite sure though i'm just gonna do it because it says add and i don't want to add anything i just want to export this the way that metahuman has it set up so i don't want to add anything and with that i'm pretty sure we can now export this so just click export fbx right here and so now back in unreal engine what you want to do is hit import right here and then go to where you saved or you exported it at meta body fps arms and then it opens up the import menu all right and so this is where i said you need to check what skeleton your body is using because right here we have to select that skeleton and mine was just meta human base skeleton I'm, i assume that's probably what the majority of them are but there might be a few that are different and the material import method right here just do do not create materials because we're going to do that on our own import textures set that to false we already have materials and everything for this and just hit import all and then as you can see our arms came in the skeletal mesh and the physics asset all right and so now we have to swap out some references in the fence the easiest way to do this is to just duplicate this right here. And then you simply delete the original one like this. And then as you can see the stuff that's referenced will pop up. And right here when you swap the references out you just select the MetaHuman FPS arms. So search for MetaHuman FPS arms right here and hit replace references and hit ok all right and so now to get the material on your arms you want to open up the one you copied right here this is the material browse to it right there go to your fps arms and i'll have to minimize this kind of like close the window down a little bit and then drag this right into there and then as you can see you got your material back and it's just arms there's no waistline or ankles and so we can simply save this or actually hit file save all and so now from here basically it's the exact same as my third person tutorial so if we take a look in the if we just for instance open up bp omar and then here like before we gotta replace these references it's the exact same thing delete that get skeletal mesh asset the reason i'm speeding through this is because my other video has done all of this so if you want more in depth you can just go to that video get skeletal mesh asset right here plug it into here and right there and if i compile save it should all be working and then i can go to class settings parent class third person character or in this case first person character and then drag root onto mesh or actually drag body onto the mesh delete the root compile and then target right here this needs to be body and then the body position reset that to zero keep the keep the body visible but on the face uncheck visible torso uncheck visible basically all of this besides the body uncheck visible And then the body we can rotate this 90 degrees or actually 180 or negative 90 and if you want to you can drag this up so it matches the first person arms where they're located and then on the actual character mesh itself 
go to visible on here uncheck that or actually it's first person mesh down here not mesh right here it's the first person mesh so yeah, that's a quick and simple tutorial. I know I didn't really show too much, but this is basically like an extended version of that other tutorial. It's kind of like a part two, you could think of it that way. Because the first tutorial, I covered how to do it in third person. And I went over all the steps, detail by detail, to get animations working and everything. But I just wanted to do this, just to show you how you can do it for a first person character as well so yeah if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye